Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Perfect Web Solutions. Today in this WordPress and WooCommerce advanced video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to display category list of your products on the shop page which you can use to filter the product. Uh, basically this was a question from one of my subscribers, let me show you. So this uh, subscriber Josh Duran has asked this question that they want to show archive product in the option of that menu. In this particular video I have shown how to remove that sorting menu, uh, this one, the default sorting, this menu I showed how to remove this one using the hook. And today I will show you how to replace this drop down with uh, categories from your products, uh, WooCommerce categories and then you can filter those products by just selecting those categories. So hopefully you will like this video tutorial and if you do then don't forget to press the like button and if you are new to our YouTube channel then don't forget to press the subscribe and also press the bell icon so that you will get notified when I upload a new video. So let's get started. So basically WooCommerce already provide us category list in the form of drop down as well as in the form of list. If you visit to widget section and then if you go to uh, product category section you can add this one anywhere like if I add it in the footer full add widget it will be shown on the footer side let me refresh it and you see here all of my categories shown in the drop down I can, sorry in the list form I can change them by showing show as drop down or show product count as well so if I save it then it will be like this one you see now I will use this product category section and will replace this one or even I can display it alongside this uh, default sorting as well. So it's up to you whether you want to remove it or just want to replace it. But I will display it here or maybe it will display here. So how to do it? First of all we need to find the hook which is used to display this one and then we will use the same hook to display this uh, product categories in replace of this one. So let's go do it. So open the sublime text and I have already opened this project here in inside my public folder and if I go to WP content plugins and then WooCommerce there is a template called archive product. Archive product is basically displaying these all products. So inside this if I scroll down I will find a hook this one WooCommerce before shop loop it's using these three hooks. Number one, WooCommerce output all notices. So all the notices related to WooCommerce will be displayed here. Then WooCommerce result count, which is this one, nine results. And then it's showing WooCommerce catalog ordering, which is this one. So what I'm going to do is I will use uh, priority number 25 because 20 is for WooCommerce result count and 30 is for catalog ordering. So if I use the priority 25, it will be displayed between in between this. So let's do it and we use this hook, WooCommerce before shop loop. So I will copy it and then I will go to my active theme. So whichever theme I have active. Mm, so currently I am using for this one is understrap child theme. So inside understrap child theme function.php I will add add action and then WooCommerce before shop loop then comma and then I will create my own function PWS PK WooCommerce and category a list. Then I will create this function and inside this function I will call the widget uh, action uh, the widget function which is a built-in function for uh, WordPress and then I need to give it a priority of 25. Why I give it to 25? Because as I have shown you, uh, let me show you again. Uh, here WooCommerce and inside archive. This one is 20 priority and this one is 20, uh, 30 priority. So 25 means in between this. So uh, let me open it and then uh, inside this widget I need to display this widget. Uh, this product categories. So inside WooCommerce if I go to include and then scroll down I will find a widgets folder and inside widgets folder 
these are all the widget uh, word uh, woocommerce provide us uh, like widget cart layered nav filter so what i am going to use is widget product categories i click on it and then i will use its class name wc underscore widget underscore product underscore categories and simply go to functions dot php as an as a first parameter i will pass this class in the second parameter i will pass the arguments which are accepted by this widget and let me show you which widget this widget accept what kind of inputs so it accept title order by drop down count hierarchical show children only hide empty max depth these are all the parameters which it accepts so i am going to give it a title empty title so that it won't display this product category title and then i will give it a drop down so that it will show in the drop down and then i will also use the count parameter so that it will count how many uh, products are there in each category so let me give this array so first i will give title and i will make it empty then i will say count and i will say true and then drop down by default drop down is false so it shows as a list so it, i will make it true and that's it the widget this widget and after that let me reload this page and there you go you see select category option is no shown so what else you can do you can uh, style it by just giving uh, giving it uh, float left or float right for example if i right click on it or maybe i can use appearance customize and let me inspect element so inside this uh, inspect element i will use widget categories and this one is uh, over widget category section and let me do it float right so let's see if i do float right what will happen catalog and i will give it sorry float right so it goes it goes here and if i do float left it will be shown alongside with this show all nine result so you can do whatever you want to do with it either you can do float right and if you have disabled this one so you can change it as you like so let me do it so i will copy this one and inside this customizer as an additional css sometime it also shows as custom so i will paste it publish it furthermore you can uh, style it like uh, you can give it a margin and padding some margin and padding for example margin i will give 2 pixel pixel and 5 pixel so 2 pixel from top bottom 5 pixel from left right sorry top bottom yeah left right and then i can use the same margin i will copy it and paste it here that's it publish reload the page and there you go now you have option to select the categories i will select any category for example i have pizza menu with three products so i select it so as soon as i select it you can see i am in the pizza menu and showing all three results and three products you can see and now you can filter through these products as long as well as you can sort them out as well so currently it's from high to low price i can do low to high price as well so there you go so this is how you can show product category okay i can hide this one uh, i think i have added it inside widget section so i can remove it i was just planning to show you that one so instead of footer full i will remove it that's it also i can add hide empty options through so the product which are empty uh, the category which does not contain any product it will also be hidden from the drop down list that's it so guys this is how you can show select category widget on the top menu bar alongside with the default sorting or even if you like you can remove the default sorting um, from my previous video tutorial here 
this is the video tutorial uh, you can watch this video tutorial and learn how to remove this default sorting as well as how to remove this show result showing count result as well so with that being said i will end my video tutorial here thank you very much for watching this video take care goodbye and allah hafiz